I hate surprises. Oh, look at this punch here. This is for you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, actually, first, we want to congratulate you. Thank you. Seriously, well deserved. It's a great honor. It's, uh, you know, I gave out 10 of them when I was a dean, and they were just the very best people, people who really cared about Santa Clara and cared about the faculty and the students and you great just people. You described yeah. yourself to yeah. a T. Well, thank you. What would you say has been, or who has been the greatest influence in your life? Oh, that, uh, without a doubt, my family, you know, uh, that they have been just remarkably supportive and... I remember that, sadly, your dad passed away within the first, right around when you began as dean. He was so excited, uh, Ken, thank you for remembering. Yeah, he was so excited about uh, uh, me coming to Santa Clara. In fact, I was visiting him, he was ill. Uh, when Father Locatelli called and offered me the position as Dean of Santa Clara's Law School. Um, he remembered with great fondness his time at Santa Clara. He was, it came back from Korea in 1959 and they assigned him to be a professor of military science, uh, ROTC as it's known, uh, here at Santa Clara. And uh, it's also been interesting because uh, I've met a number of our graduates, uh, double degree graduates who had my father in, uh, when they were an undergraduate uh, uh, school, yeah. You do have quite a stellar uh, resume Set in the uh, Hollywood films. Perhaps there may be some people viewing this who don't know about that. I can't believe that anybody at Santa Clara doesn't know I was in a movie. You know, you've only mentioned it, what, how many hundred <laughs> That's times? what I mean. It, it was uh, an occasion that came up when I was a dean at University of Memphis and Francis Ford Coppola was uh, filming a John Grisham novel, uh, The Rainmaker, and uh, so... Uh, what, what role did you play? I played a couple of roles in that. One uh, uh, that didn't make it into the film, I taught, I, I played a, a law professor teaching a class with Matt Damon was in the class, and I called on him in class just like we do in law school, and uh, Francis Ford says, uh, what did you do that for? And I said, that's what we do in law school. We call on people. And he said, but he was pretending to be asleep. I said, exactly. That's the reason we called on him in, in terms of that. Uh, and then I played a law school dean uh, in another clip in it that did you make really it into stretched. the film. It was a big stretch. It was a stretch role. There was a kind of a blockbuster line you delivered too, wasn't it? And it was one that uh, I wrote myself. So I was not only starring in it, but I was also the screenwriter. And what uh, so yeah, it was. Could you could you say that line? That's a staggering verdict, I think, by anybody's estimation. It's certainly one of the largest and probably. As you think back on your deanship years, what are some of the things that you think back with most pride or most joy with you or despite you? Uh, during those years? Well, other than working with you two, which has been a, a wonderful <laughs> opportunity, and I mean that sincerely, uh, there were just a lot of things. Um, you know, I have to go back and think about the centennial, for example, to be the dean. It's fortuitous, but uh, how exceptional and exciting to be the dean at the time that the school celebrated its uh, centennial anniversary. The Jerry Kasner Symposium that we do. It started, I think, my second year we started that hired about a third of the faculty during my 10 years as dean here and we have some remarkable faculty members across the board but we brought in a group of really talented young faculty members that are going to be a part of uh, this law school for a long time. Certainly what we see going on across the street right now with the new building and that's something I started on literally my second or third week and now to see it out of the ground I think that that's just a wonderful uh, part of the things that I look back at with a great, with a great deal of pride. The greatest acknowledgement on my part is the wonderful people I've met and worked with here. Our students, our alums, they've been remarkably supportive in extending themselves in friendship uh, to so many of the members of the faculty that have been warm and supportive and encouraging, even when they might disagree with me on something that I was putting forth as, uh, as a dean. And knowing a lot about other law schools, being at other law schools, including in a, in a decanal position, made me realize what a really extraordinary group of people that we have here. And uh, I'm uh, very 
enthusiastic about our future and um, even though these are very difficult times for us and for legal education, there are just some, so much goodwill and really talented and supportive people here. I know that uh, our next century, if you will, is going to be as promising and successful as our first. Thank you. Thank you. We applaud you and appreciate all you've done for the school and congratulate you again on this, on this honor. Thank yes. you.